We had a lot of fun with the Hardy Boys today, but now we need to talk about something a little bit more serious, gas gangrene. Gas gangrene is an infection caused by germs found everywhere in the environment. Infected areas can turn bulbous, gaseous. The infection spreads quickly and can lead to loss of limb or even death. What you're about to see is a cautionary tale about a boy on a hiking trip who gets gas gangrene. Watch closely and you'll see what he should have done differently. I hope you learned something because gas gangrene, also known as the limb lopper, can happen to everyone, including you. Enter Billy and Timmy on an afternoon hiking adventure. Man, I hope we find some birds today. Oh, look over there. Gosh, Timmy, take a look. Golly, that's interesting. Ah! You all right, Timmy? Ah. Oh, man. I fell in this rusty pipe. Timmy, wait. I'll be down there right now. Whoa, Timmy, that's a deep cut. We need to get you to the dock. No, nah, man, I heard the dock here's a quack. Let's just go wash it off in the creek. You sure? Yeah, help me up. Okay. Uh. You sure the water is clean? Yeah, man, I drink from this water all the time. Okay. <laughs> Three weeks later, Billy finally drags Timmy to the doctor's office. Man, I can't believe you brought me here. I don't want to see this guy. Your leg was turning black. You must be the patient. It's me. My name is Dr. Sears. Dead Sears. Let's take a look at that leg. All right, see you very seriously infected. How did you come across such an injury? Well, I was hiking with my friend Billy, and I saw this awesome bird, and then I fell off this cliff and landed on a rusty pipe. And neither of you had the common sense to wash it off and clean it out? I told him the creek water was not safe. Okay. Well, does it hurt when I do this? Ah! I heard a yeah. crackling sound, too. That's probably gas gangrene. Gas gangrene? What's that? Gas gangrene is a very serious infection caused by Clostridium perfringens, typically. Clostridium perfringens is a rod-shaped anaerobe found everywhere in the environment. It's very common and can cause anything from food poisoning up to gas gangrene. Gas gangrene can eventually lead to the formation of boils and pustules with fluid or gas formation leading to crepitus, which is a crackling sound when you touch it. It can be painful to the touch, or if the skin has already died, then it could be non-feeling entirely. Normally, what we would do is we would debride the area of necrotic tissue, therefore removing it. However, in Timmy's case, the only solution is to amputate immediately. What's that saw for? We're gonna have to amputate. Amputate? Ah! Now that he's unconscious, if you could leave the room, I'm going to begin the operation. Okay. Sorry, son. Well, to me, it doesn't look like there's any more signs of infection. I'm sorry that you had to lose your leg, but it's better than losing your life. That's true. Next time I get a really bad cut, I'm going to come see you sooner. Good idea. Let's go ahead and help him up. <laughs>